This is my guide how to survive an off-site in Unit 1. I will show you in Unit 2, but first I'll do Unit 1. So let's say you are the man that I am right now, and a random off-site hits you. So what do you do? The turbine's gone. Generator on. I'm going to quickly run over here. Scram the too loud. RCIC on, it's 100%. LPCI on. Shut down. Cooling pumps, both of them on. And then. We lost a bit of water level but that is fine because we're going to get more water level back. Now what you do is just wait for diesel to get working and then you start cooling. So now you're getting a lot of water in to the reactor, so you'd want to close in a bit because you don't want to totally flood the reactor. So you can put it like this and just leave it because you you still got flow here. Now that your generator is on, you can now power the safety bus. So now you got cooling on. Now that it's on, you don't really need RCIC anymore. You can enable relief to remove some pressure, and then by removing pressure, you lower the reactor temperature quickly. But usually, I wouldn't recommend it. Now we just cool the reactor using these two pumps and. You don't want to flood it or melt it, so 0, 0.0 meters is the best. Now, when your electrical panel looks like this, mainly the lower half, your diesel is on here, it's sending power through here, and it goes to the safety bus, and then it also goes and charges the battery. Also with this switch, you're controlling the lights here. So if I was to turn this off, lights and then with this you it's 
basically puts more weight on the battery it's, so it's usually better to keep that on your startup transformer won't work now but it's good to keep it on even though it's not powered because when you do have power you can just easily turn on main coolant control Now you just cool to 50 degrees Celsius, which I won't do because it will take a bit. And then you get points, and you can start up again. <laughs> 